Here we are at Sears and Woodfield Mall, and it officially is closing for good. The last store in Illinois. Let's go check it out. The many Sears store in Illinois is closing. The company announced it will shutter its store at Woodfield. Once one of the biggest names in the history of American retail is closing its very last store here in Illinois. but it would be the last anniversary for the Anchor Sears store here because the company announced it is shutting its doors in November. center this afternoon causing absolute chaos. Welcome to Sears at Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois. This Sears location opened at Woodfield Mall on August 4th, 1971. And after just over 50 years of operation, this location started liquidation in September of 2021 and unfortunately closed its doors on November 14th, 2021. I hope you enjoy this full store tour of the last up and running Sears department store in Illinois. items since the liquidation has started 
The first floor before liquidation mainly consisted of larger appliances, outdoor furnishings, men's and women's clothing, and it also had jewelry. Once liquidation started in this store, they ended up clearing out the whole kids department on the second floor as well as all the home goods they had on the second floor and they ended up altering the upper level to rug sales as well as liquidating fixtures so there are tons of fixtures on the upper level as well as rugs as you'll see further down in the video once they get a chance to get to the upper level The main reason why Sears has ended up going downhill in such a short period of time is because of the pandemic, of course, but also because they never have changed the whole aspect of the shopping experience for their customers, as well as the whole atmosphere within their store. And because of this, they were unable to retrieve new customers in their store. With such a spread out layout and such a low amount of items to choose from, it ended up drawing away their customers and preventing them from wanting to come back to the store. Some examples of competitors that have went above and beyond for their customers most recently is Macy's, for example, has opened a backstage store, which offered an outlet store type experience within their own department store, which allowed customers to choose from a variety of items for a lower reduced price, as well as JCPenney, which recently this year started their Shopping is Back campaign which invited many customers to come back to shop at their store and offered a new vibrant atmosphere within their store by changing the layout of the way they had their inventory within the store as well as offering many discounts and new sales that they never have had before within their store. With Woodfield Mall being the largest mall in the Chicagoland area and one of the most thriving malls, unfortunately Sears is not the first store to vacate this shopping center. Warden Taylor has left in late 2020, leaving Sears as the second store to vacate Woodfield Mall. It left behind the department stores JCPenney, Macy's and Nordstrom. Compared to all the other Sears stores that were operating in the Chicagoland area, this one by far was the nicest store I have ever visited. I also appreciate the skylight that welcomes you as you make your way up to the second floor. There at one point was a brand new Sears store not too far down the road. It was right at Oak Brook Center and it used to be a three-story Sears store that was limited down only to one floor. It was very nice on the inside but it only lasted about a year or so until they ended up going bankrupt and then closing the store entirely. Like I said earlier in the video, there are a lot of unsold fixtures up here, as well as tons of rugs. So basically this whole second floor wasn't being used for clothing or any other retail, just the fixtures and the rugs.
Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And as we remember the good things that Sears has done for us in the past, may we all say farewell to Sears at Woodfield Mall once and for all.